chances which Rangers haven't been slow in taking in the last few weeks. Hearts make two changes from the team which lost 2-1 to the other half of the old firm on Wednesday. Top scorer John Robertson has a slight hamstring strain and he'll start on the bench. Alan Lawrence takes his place. And Gary Mackay takes a break on the bench as well, which makes way for the return in defence of Dave McPherson. So it's a change of shape defensively for Hearts, with McPherson covering behind the youngsters McManus and Ritchie, and Italian Pasquale Bruno, the anchorman, in front of those three defenders. They'll look to the running power of Lawrence and Cahoon to stretch the Rangers' defence. Gordon Jury's in prime form with nine goals in his last seven games and 16 for the season. If he keeps on knocking them in, he could join McCoist in the Scotland squad for Euro 96. It's nearly three months since Dave McPherson featured in the starting lineup, but after two games on the bench, he's back just days away from his 32nd birthday. And the referee is Bobby Orr from Kilbarkin. Rangers kick off, looking to make it 20 Premier matches unbeaten. And they've been in tremendous form of late, and they're starting well. Here's Alec Cleland, looking to link up with Brian Laudrup. The danger there was cut out by young McManus. Early threat from Rangers, they're not hanging about. Back from Miller to Laudrup, and offside. Cleland looking to make the cross from the byline, but he just strayed behind, behind that offside trap. There's Alan Lawrence in for John Robertson this afternoon, and his running will be important to the Hearts strike force. And Locke with the throw. Locke's been a big part of this Hearts revival this season. Free kick given against Richard Goff, not too happy about it. Foul on John Calhoun and Steve Fulton is coming across to take the free kick. Left footed in swinging. Breakdown in communication there, Dave McPherson was up for the free kick. Swung away on the breeze, and no one with much chance of getting on the end of it. Well, it's been a, a long time since Andy Gorham lost a goal. You have to go back to the 25th of November. And long may that continue as far as he's concerned. That was Neil Poynton with the header. Couldn't quite direct it towards Calhoun, but John Calhoun is battling away. He's beaten Petrich. Alan Lawrence inside, Johnston making ground in the middle. Return pass, Calhoun again. It's cut back! Alan Johnston has scored! Seven minutes gone, and Hearts have shocked the Rangers' support with the opening goal. It's Alan Johnston. He's been in superb form, and the Rangers' defence won't be happy about this at all. It was sluggish stuff from Petrich. Galhoun got the second chance, and his cutback tucked away by Johnston. Really, Rangers had opportunities to clear here, but John Calhoun was going to make them pay, and Johnston took the chance. They call him magic at Tyne Castle, and he's living up to it so far. Jim Jeffries will be happy with the Hearts start, especially with Gary Mackay and John Robertson on the bench. He's had to make changes. Live drip to Gordon Jury. Forced to go back the way. Hearts getting behind the ball. Ferguson to Cleland. Ian Ferguson's made the forward run. It's well struck on the half volley. And it's well held. Gio Russe, good handling. Good play by Ferguson in the midfield. Took it on his chest, half volley, well collected. Gordon Jury was there. Ian Ferguson, a lot of play coming through him at the moment. He has been playing in the wide position for Rangers, much more a central figure in the midfield today. Here's Ladrup. Ladrup against McManus. So elusive, so difficult to tie down. There's a teasing cross. Gilles Rousset in command. 
but it was a useful cross. Now dra dragging it back onto the right foot, and Rusi had to be mobile. Second chance for Lawrence. Fulton, that's a lovely first time ball for Cahoon. Alan Lawrence had to be a good tackle from Richard Goff. Just some fears among the Rangers supporters that there might be a penalty against their side there. Goff really had to make this challenge work, and he did. Well, he's looking quite calm, Archie Knox, but things not quite happening at the moment for Rangers. Rangers haven't been allowed to settle so far, and that's been the Hearts' plan. And it's worked up to this moment. Charlie Miller crowded out by Alan Johnston, two of the young talents in the Scottish game. Nodded down by Goff from McLaren. Loudrup wants it and gets it. Ian Durant moving up front alongside Gordon Jury. Time to run for Loudrup and time to cross possibly for Cleland. It's a hanging ball at the far post. And alarmingly for the Hearts defence, Gordon Jury had a great chance at the far post. Nobody jumped with him. Meanwhile, on the counter-attack, this game being played at a furious pace, Alan Johnston, it was given away by McLaren. Racing in a goal is Lawrence! Struck it well, just a fraction too high. So in the space of 30 seconds, a chance at one end, and then Alan Lawrence's chance at the other. This was a great chance for Rangers, and Alec Cullen found some room to cross. And at the far post, Hearts will be alarmed at the amount of space that Gordon Jury found for this header, which was cleared off the line there by Dave McPherson. And then at the other end, immediately, Hearts broke downfield, Rangers gave it away, Alan Johnston put the pass through, and Alan Lawrence wasn't too far away with that shot. Ian Durant. Hearts getting back behind the ball very effectively, not allowing Rangers to dominate the midfield. Brian Loudrup back onto his left foot, now onto his right, teasing Paul Ritchie, across for Gordon Jury. Cut out by Gary Locke. The menace of Gordon Jury at the far post, picked up there by the Hearts defence, and it was Gary Locke who made the covering run and the covering header. David Murray's latest big money deal, bringing Peter Van Vos into Ibrox, and we may well see him before this match is over. Lock for Cahoon. Johnston. Good passing play from Hearts. Patient stuff. And a great ball from Fulton. And Lawrence in behind. Alan McLaren, great save by Gorham. So close to number two for Hearts. Yet again, the Rangers' defence carved open. And it had to be good positioning and a good stop from Gorham to foil Alan Lawrence there. Gordon Jury trying to bring the ball down, which he does effectively for Ferguson. Durant with Steve Fulton in behind him. Now Cleland. Chipped in by Ferguson. Another opportunity. Everyone for Hearts behind the ball, and they're away with it almost again. Cahoon couldn't quite link up with Lawrence. Rangers struggling to find a way to break down this Hearts setup. Loudrup looking for the return from Gordon Jury. Brian Loudrup must score. Saved by Rousse. Great positioning, saved with his legs. Looked as if Loudrup was about to equalise for Rangers. That's good goalkeeping. Ian Ferguson blocked by Bruno. Constant pressure from Rangers. In from Ian Durant. Nodded away by McManus. Rangers building again. Cleland taking his time, sizing up the cross. But Charlie Miller was never likely to trouble Rusi. Well, this was a, a real chance for Rangers. The 1 2 played by Loudrup with Jury. And you'd have put your money on him scoring here, but saved by the legs of the goalkeeper. Walter Smith frustrated, shouting instructions from the stand. So often Rangers have been forced to go backwards 
from a promising position. Here they come again with Durant this time. Brian Laudrup, the return from Judy, cut out by McPherson. Judy again, Hart's claiming used an arm there. Here is Gordon Judy! Struck it well, but just with a touch too much of the swerve, which took it away just as it looked as if it might be heading for the top corner. Hart's reckon he used an arm there, but the referee said play on when it came back to Judy. This wasn't too far away. And that is the final action of this first half. And it's been a good first half for Hearts. Alan Johnston scoring after seven minutes from John Cahoon's cutback with the Rangers' defence in disarray. And really, you have to say, Hearts could have added to that goal. Rangers not quite themselves. They've never been allowed to settle and not too much happening for them in the way of creating chances. After 45 minutes, Rangers nil, Hearts won. At the start of the second half, this is Peter van Vossen, Rangers' latest signing. And Walter Smith badly wants an improvement in Rangers' performance in the second half. And Vossen has taken the place of Gordan Petric, so Rangers having a reshuffle in their formation. Here's Fulton, though, for Hearts. Lovely ball in, cut out by McLaren. And Hearts starting the second half the way they finished the first. That really was a good, good break there, and that was a dangerous ball in from Fulton. They lost to Celtic during the week. They're hoping now they can hold on against Rangers. Goff picks out Laudrup. Alec Cleland on the outside. Laudrup heading in the way. Good run, but eventually running out of steam. And a mistake made there by the Hearts defence, which could have disastrous consequences for them. That's a pass back. And Rangers have a free kick. It was touched back by Steve Fulton. Well, Hearts might argue that that was a sliding tackle. David Robertson standing over the ball. He strikes it. Still not cleared. It is now. And Hearts survive. Steve Fulton hacking that ball away. That certainly was a pressure situation for them. Goff for Durant. Not a good pass. Well read by Johnston. And here's Alan Lawrence. He's got pace. Alec Cleland did a good covering job there. Lawrence got past Alan McLaren, but uh, he wasn't going to get past Alec Cleland. That was superb defending. He wins a round of applause from Andy Gorham. That was very well done indeed. So much of Rangers' play is going across the way, not making too much progress at the moment. Here's Robertson. Laudrup makes a run. Rangers not getting the room they want. It's quick tackling and good tackling like that, which is causing Rangers so many problems here. But they still have it. And that's a loose pass from Goff, cut out by points, and he'll take a return here from John Cahoon. And on the far side is Alan Lawrence. He's through the middle. What a great chance this is for Hart. Lawrence, brilliantly saved. And John Cahoon misses the rebound. Hart may well rue that opportunity missed. Although you have to say as well, it was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping by Gorham. It was a quick breakout after Goff gave the ball away. Point and delivered the quick pass through the middle for Alan Lawrence. He had the first chance. Gorham did brilliantly there, and John Calhoun might have hoped to have done better with that one. Big fright for Rangers. Here comes Ian Durant. It's Laudrup. They badly need some magic from him, the Rangers, there he is. Couldn't get the power behind the shot, not too much of a problem for Rousse. It was that Laudrup run, the run better than the shot. Well, there's Alexei Mikhailichenko limbering up on the touchline. Rangers may be ready to make another change. Forward from Poynton, Johnson through the middle! He's done it again! Johnston second and out of almost nothing Hart 
Hearts have struck. Blow number two. The Hearts fans jubilant. Their team is two up. It was played through by Neil Poynton. In behind Ian Ferguson was Alan Johnston. The Rangers defence lost him. And that was a superb finish. He's highly thought of, is Alan Johnston. And with that sort of cool finish, you can understand why. Grim faces on the Rangers bench. A team really being vastly outplayed at the moment. Well, they're calm now, but a couple of minutes ago, they were leaping high in the air off that Hearts bench. Peter Van Vossen. Rangers would love him to make a quick impact. There's Ian Ferguson! Natalie passed. That's what Rangers need. A bit more incisiveness. Lovely touch from Van Vossen. The run was good from Ferguson, and he was just off target. That's why Rangers have paid... Not so much paid big money for him, but offloaded two and a half million pounds worth of Oleg Selenko to bring in Peter Van Vossen. The pass was perfect. Ian Ferguson just off the mark. Here comes Cleland. Off Poynton for the throw. Loudrup. Alec Cleland's made a good run here for the byline. What can he do? Not a lot because it was charged down by Fulton. They really have put in a power of work of hearts. It was well seen by Loudrup. Couldn't quite squeeze the cut back through. Brian Loudrup with the corner. There's Richard Goff. Brilliantly tucked over by Russe. It looked as if it was going to dip under the crossbar. But the French goalkeeper very much on top of the situation. A free header, really, there for Richard Goff. Here's the new signing, Van Vossen. Mikhailachenko. Robertson in the wide position. Plenty in the box to aim at. And from Laudrup, cut out by McManus. Quality of crossing, not good so far from Rangers. Not much better. That one found Mikhailachenko, though. Now Laudrup. Richard Goff's there! Well, it looked for a moment as if Gilles Rossi was leaving it, but he certainly had to make a save as Richard Goff's header looked as if it might have sneaked in at that far post. Richard Goff was never giving this up, and the goalkeeper did well. What can Ian Ferguson do? Gordon Judy forced to come back looking for the ball. In recent times, he's been getting an excellent service and making the most of it too. There's Poynton through the middle. Alan Johnston, can he score his hat-trick? What a moment for the youngster. Johnston, he's done it! A superb finish from Alan Johnston. And Hart's victory over Rangers is surely now complete. The Hart's players celebrate. Celebrations on the Hearts bench as well. And Alan Johnston has a hat-trick he will long remember. Hooked forward from Poynton. Yet again, Johnston eluding his marker. Bags of time, he made the most of it. He went round Gorham and he tucked it away. Well, the Hearts fans won't mind seeing this one again. But look at the room Johnston was given through the middle of that Rangers defence. But look at the cool head as well here for a 22-year-old. The Rangers fans heading for the exits already. They've seen enough, their team three down. Knocked on by Goff. It was away from Dave McPherson. David Robertson. Charlie Miller missed the volley. Well won by Clellan, but it's back with Hart. Alan Lawrence looking as if he's toying with offside. That's why Steve Fulton held on to it there, but he still has it. Plays the pass through the middle now. It's Alan Johnston again. Can he make it four? Saved by Gorham. And then 
Andy Gorham concedes the corner. Well, Alan Johnston might be given the freedom of Gorgie Road if he scores another one, but he was so close there. Through the middle, Charlie Miller made a good challenge on him from behind. And Andy Gorham got the touch. A second heart substitution, John Robertson is coming on. John Calhoun taking the applause of the Hearts fans as he comes off. All smiles, Hearts are happy. Poynton angling another ball towards Alan Lawrence. Free kick given for the challenge on the Rangers defender. Tackled by Locke on Mikhailachenko. Well, he could well be on oxygen by now, Alan Lawrence. He's done plenty running. Gordon Jury. Well, the spirit seems to have ebbed out of these Rangers players, and you can understand why. Not too long to go, and there are three down. Here's a chance for them from the corner kick. Mikhailachenko, only as far as Peter Van Vossen. Struck it well, but not quite on target. Well, there'll surely be happier days to come for Rangers' new signing. And he's certainly connected with that. This has been a real tactical success for Hearts. They've got it absolutely right. Dave McPherson, what a big figure he's been in so many ways for Hearts this afternoon. Lawrence against Goff, tidied up by Cleland. There's a stunned silence among the Rangers supporters who are left. They can't quite believe that this has happened. Now drop against Ritchie, and not for the first time this afternoon, it's the Hearts man who wins. There can't be too much more. Loud rips corner kick, there's Richard Goff underneath it. And that's full time, the Hearts players celebrate a famous victory at Ibrox. At the end of a long 19-match unbeaten run in the league, the management team of Jeffries and Brown have masterminded a tremendous art success. Alan Johnston is the hat-trick hero. He'll remember this day for the rest of his football life. One in the first half, two in the second half. Rangers are beaten, and the Hearts fans are absolutely delighted with the 90 minutes they've seen. Final score, Rangers nil, Hearts three. Well, it was a smashing performance and a great result, great result for the club, and the supporters have waited a long time for to get a performance here, and uh, they got it in style today, and, and possibly could have won a lot more comfortably. I mean, we won comfortably in the end, but, uh, you know, we could have had about five or six goals there today. Smashing every player in the team played their part right from the goalkeeper right through, and and uh, it was a great, you know, I thought there was a wee stage there where we believed we could win as opposed to against Celtic the other night, and uh, it was just great. Everything went smashing, and we picked the team accordingly, and the tactics went right. Walter Hearts did well, but what went wrong for Rangers? I think we lost a bad goal early on in the game. We had possession of the ball, gave it away. And I think that set the tone for the game. We struggled after that to create any reasonable chances. Brown Lloyd up really having the best chance of the game for us uh, in the early part, which was well saved. So um, we struggled to create many chances after that. We had a lot of territorial advantage, but uh, to Hart's credit, they defended very well. Worked very hard in the game. And they caught us out in the break in the second half and managed to get two other goals. So disappointing um, result, disappointing performance overall from us. Minus Paul Gascoigne, who's been influential for you in midfield, there just didn't seem to be too much happening in the way of creating chances. 
Well, it's an easy excuse, that one. It's not one I would use. We've missed him in a few games this season and we'll manage to go on and win the match. So, no excuses from us. We just didn't come up to par in terms of our own performance. Do you dismiss that as just one of those days and let's press on and start off on another winning run now? Well, you would hope that that's the case. I mean, but, uh, you know, we have to show far more than we did today um, if we're going to get back on the rails. We certainly have a cup game next week, uh, which will give us an opportunity um, to get one or two players back and hopefully into a bit of match fitness. And, um, you know, if that happens, we go back into the league games after that. And I'm sure um, if we take anything from the game at all, then uh, we'll improve again. Yes, it was Hearts Day, their biggest win at Ibrox since 1973. John Cahoon certainly enjoyed it. What was the, the secret today, John? What went right? Um, everything went right for us today. It was uh, just a great day for us, the players, supporters and the managers. Uh, at the club, it was um, a great day and Alan Johnson capped it with a, a hat-trick. I think the first player to score a hat-trick since John Brown. <laughs> Rangers ended up signing him. <laughs> That's right, yeah. I hope it doesn't work but, out that way. Was there anything before the game? Was there anything that Jim Jeffries said? Or any feeling that you know this could be such a big day for no, you? No, we were a little bit disappointed on Wednesday night when we got in front of Celtic and we never held on to it. We, we seemed to uh, be worried that they were going to come at us and we let them do that and, and we gave them two goals. Mm. Uh, so today when we got in front, um, we managed to hang on and, and went on and, and pressed ahead. But we changed a little bit tactically today. Uh, the manager and, and Billy Brown decided to pay, play... Uh, Frank Bruno in front of the, the back three and then Alan Johnson just a little bit tucked in. Mm. Well, we'll see the goals in just a moment, but I mean, Derek, let's get your reaction to it. I mean, it was 3-0 going in 4 or 5, wasn't it? Well, they were certainly the better side on the day, no doubt whatsoever. I, I think they had 11 players that played to form. I think if you look at the Rangers side, maybe three or four played, but that's taking nothing away from Hearts. You know, they defended very, very well indeed and broken numbers and they've got such pace in midfield mm. and up front that mm. caused Rangers an awful lot of problems. Yeah. Let's take a look at the Alan Johnson hat. Right. Now, he was played in a different position today, John, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Um, the manager and, and Billy decided that he was going to play sort of the old inside forward, although he can't remember uh, what an old inside <laughs> forward was. But he's, he's here, and they'll try to get David Robertson either dragged in there for Alan Lawrence's pace in there, or uh, just making him free so he could make his runs and spring into the box. Um, and that's what ended up happening um, on two or three occasions. Remember, that's, that's where he is at the start. He's in, he's in the circle there in the halfway line. Petric, uh, you've just robbed him there. But it's good to see him running at the Rangers defence. What a lovely one-two with Alan Lawrence. And you look at the Rangers players back, and he still, John still manages to get the ball cut back there to the one Hearts player that's in the box. But just look at the run by Alan Johnson. David Robertson is with him there. Now, there's no way he's going to get a chance. But look at the sprint there in front of him to the near post. Gets in front of David Robertson, and that's a fine finish. A tremendous start. Yeah, it's a real that. instinct for goal, that. It is. It's, it's that a great out. goal. Mm. And, and there's a great ball by the other youngster, McManus, to point in, who, who had a very, very important game today. He had some magnificent balls through the middle. But what about that for a finish? That's, that's very cool. Does he do that in training, John? Yeah, he's, um, he does things in training that he hasn't really started to show in matches. Mm. Um, he's only just beginning to show that now. And um, the, the talent that he's got is um, as good as any player that I've ever played with in my career, and, including um, Paul McStay and uh, all the good players I've played with at Celtic and other clubs I've been at. But there's great movement from this heart side. And they're very, very quick, as I said, from midfield and up front. And here is again, just the one pass again pointing with his so-called weaker foot, the right. Ranger at this time trying to push on the left, uh, the young man again. Look, it's as if I don't know what to do with this. I'll just better put it in the net. Because Charlie Miller's running back and really he can't get near him. And uh, it's just a, a smashing run again. Very, very confident player, John. Yeah, he is. Um, he's a lovely level-headed young man as well. And um, he's... He, he, does, he followed Rangers as a boy, so the only thing he was worried about was that um, he was going to get a Celtic Sports Club named after him <laughs> after the game. But um, he was, I think he was quite happy that Celtic never yeah. capitalised on it. And his nickname at the club is Magic, isn't it? Yeah, Magic Johnson. Yeah, yeah, we're quite imaginative of nicknames. We've got um, Magic Johnson and Frankie Bruno, so um, I don't know if we can come up with something better. We mentioned those other chances, though. You scored three, but you, sc you could have scored several more, in fact. It was a, that kind of day. Yeah, it was just one of the days when we managed to spring people from midfield and up front. And, um, Sadly, we could have had another mm. couple, but mm. um, that's just been a bit greedy, you know. Mm. Winning 3 0 at Ibrox, I think it was, it was beyond our, our dreams at the start of the game, and mm. we're just delighted with what we got. Three yeah. points, just the same. The, the, the chance Alan Lawrence had was a wonderful build up. This, this really would have made a, a superb goal, in fact, wouldn't it? Again, came from a Rangers mistake originally. It was a smashing ball through, and there's a slight mm. hint of offside in the first place, but it didn't matter. Alan Lawrence didn't know that, he just ran through on the, on the goalkeeper. And, and Andy Gorham did well today, he lost three. I don't think he could do anything with the goals, but uh, he certainly saved them from losing an mm. another two or three goals here. Alan McLaren here just caught the, the heels of Lawrence, but uh, Andy Gorham in, in superb form these days. But uh, 
You say hearts on the break were dynamite because yeah, no, this is the one I was referring so to. Much actually, movement. This, this you look at the here. one touched off. Oh, John plays that one there. Look at the first time ball again there by Pointing. And uh, really, he should score here, Alan Mars. But he hits the target, makes Andy Gorham have the same. In, and what a sitter that was, John. I mean, what were you thinking <laughs> yeah, about? Well, that's the fourth time we've seen that in this programme. It's no way to treat a guest, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, yeah, in this programme, it is, am I? <laughs> 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 but I should have hit a target. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed not to score, but. Um, that's the way that, that goes sometimes for strikers. The surprising thing, through the middle again, I mean, Rangers have been very, very strong in central defence, but uh, today they were caught out there uh, in, in two of the goals anyway. I mean, Fulton does so well here, just that pass again, through the middle again, and uh, Alan John. But Charlie Miller does so well here. He caught out for the second goal, he didn't manage to catch uh, Young Johnson, but there he just managed to put it, did enough to put him off. That was the important thing. Or, Imagine him scoring four goals. I yeah, it would just have been a bit greedy to get four, I think, to be honest. Mm. Um, but he's, I think he'd be delighted. I saw him walking away from the bus with the ball under his arm. He just looked like a little boy going down the park for a game. Yeah, and of course it's a tremendous boost for Hearts because now you've very clearly got a European place on your sights, haven't you? Yeah, well, uh, we've won, um, I think, four out of our last five games. One of the defeat was against Celtic on Wednesday. Uh, so it's, it's good form. Mm. But we've got to keep it going. We've got a couple of weeks off from the league because of the Cup next week. And um, we're just um, going along quite nicely. And hopefully uh, we'll get into Europe because it's... a you miss European football when you're not there. It's a great boost when you're in there, and it's a good trip away for the supporters in the uh, uh, next year. So hopefully we can mount a challenge. And the Rangers fans, of course, did get the first look at the new signing, mm -hmm. Peter Van Vossen. What did you think, Derek? Well, it was difficult. He came in at a time where Rangers are not playing well, and mm -hmm. obviously won down the start of the second half. But he showed enough that, that, that he has got ability. I mean, that's a lovely little touch through for Ian Ferguson there. 